Right. And hello. And welcome back to Luton's Last Rise. I'm out of shot now as I sit down. Oh, who knows? You guys like the intros. I don't know what comes into my head when I do the intros. But that's it. I hope you enjoy them. I hope you stay around for everything else as well in the video, which we'll get to now. As always then, we'll kick us off in the calendar. Middlesbrough at home, going to be playing it. Then, of course, the big one, which is Southampton. That's basically a Premier League team. Preston, the sim will be Ipswich. And it'll be Millwall. I've got a few things to do admin-wise in the middle as well. So some transfer suggestions I've had and some scout suggestions I've had. But we'll get to them eventually. Let's get into the Middlesbrough game first. So for Middlesbrough, we have, of course, rotated and rested with an eye to Southampton. And, of course, Lockyer, Knight and Carter Vickers are all away with Wales, Scotland and USA, respectively, on international duty, which isn't helpful. Nombay gets his first start in the championship, I believe, as does Dewsbury Hall. Potts is out wide. Fabry's on the right, a youth player. Jones is right back. It's... Yeah, it's a mixed match. If we lose, I wouldn't be surprised, but I reckon this team has got the heart to do us a good job, so let's go. Right, Kenilworth Road then to play Middlesbrough. Let's get comfy in the chair. Let's get ready to go. It's a league game. We're still needing some points. We've got points at the end of episode two, though, against, I can't remember, but you'll tell me in the comments, I'm sure, or I'll look back at it. It doesn't matter. We need three points today. Worst defensive team, according to FIFA, and here we are still having difficulty. The stats are not in our favour. But this time we seem to have done quite well and pushed him all the way out wide. Back, I'm in the box again. Pearson's not got him this time. He's a good pullback and Sluger's not saved it. Bradley's fallen over. A calamity of er errors. And it's 1-0 Middlesbrough straight away. Also, do let me know about my transfer business. Do you think it's been good? Because here's two of the new lads now. Or oh, Dewsbury Hall actually plays a uh, loose pass. Fletcher with a bit of room to drive into the penalty box. Does Pearson with the drag back fake. Why can't I get there? Come on. Fletcher's in. Good save, Sluger. It's going to fall to wing. Straight away. Why? Sluger actually makes a save. What annoys me is that it's gone straight to wing then as well. No one on my team. Straight to them. 2-0 to Middlesbrough. Jusby Hall's found a bit of space. Can he find Nombe? He can. He's going to try and go past the centre-back and does really well. Sam Nombe in for his first goal for Luton Town. Yes, he is. He gets us one back about four minutes before half-time. And you know what? He scored his first. We'll give him a little bit of celebration, but let's get that ball. Let's get back and go again. Well done, Nombe. Probably half time coming up now. Oh, there it is. I <laughs> speak of the devil. I am not happy because we're losing, of course, but I'm actually really impressed with Nombe. The pace and the power and the strength he showed there to hold off the defender and get past him and then finish it was very good. So, more to come, hopefully, in the second half. There he can. He find a while away. He can. He's going to have to hit it early. Oh, it's a good save. We'll whip the corner in. We've started well in this second half, to be fair. Can Pearson get on that? He can't. I may have rotated, but the lads have got in there now. Fabry to lift it over. I see Nombe. It's not a good ball. Wing into Fletcher. It's good. Back to wing. We need to may maybe block it. There we go, Pearson. That's good positioning. Oh, he's in. He's in. He's in. Oh, obviously finished that one. One hours it got to him. At one, but it's 3-1 now. I've got 10 minutes. I'm going to make changes and go for it. Three changes and Panzer off, Brian on, Douglas on, and um, Jordan Clark on as well for Fabry. Um, I don't know how this has happened, but Morsi's in. And I mean in, in. I'm going back with Douglas, but he's not fast enough, or is he? Or is he? No, he's not. Oh, good save, Sluger. Very for Brian. Can we get through this gap? We can. Bradley Brian, he's in on his left. Oh, it's been blocked. We'll go short for this one. Jordan Clark's there. Can we get into the box? Can we find anyone? It's gone to the wall, wall. He's had a wayward shot and that'll be our last chance. The ref's surely going to blow his whistle now the ball's in the middle of the park. Unless he's going to allow us. No, he's not. 3-1 defeat to Middlesbrough. I rotated a lot. I am prepping for Southampton. But I really would have liked the win there in that game. The fans obviously aren't happy. I'm not really that happy. But Nombe did get his first goal, which is always a good plus. We'll go to Southampton now. Don't I tell a lie? Yes, I said we're going to Southampton. But we're actually at some... Transfers. Now, I asked for transfer suggestions and you've come back in your absolute loads. I can't think of the right word. But I asked for left... I, well, I asked for right wingers. I didn't actually didn't ask, did I? But I've got Jamal Collins here, Harry Tafalo, Tom Pierce, Vincent Mola. I like the look of Mola. Obviously, these are all being scouted and these are all January, maybe summer, right? Then we've got Akolo, Velasco, uh, Nunley, Boyevich. Gana, Gana, Ganago, yep, yeah. 
and Sambu. Now, the Sambu one was from, sorry, I have them written down, was from Isabel and Poppy TV. I'm not sure this is the correct one, although he does have a game face, and if he is, I do quite like the look of him. Could be used as a winger, I suppose. Then we've got, hold on, Nan Lee Boyevich, Ganago. We're all from Grant F. Grant F is the name, but Grant, I'm going to say. Brilliant. Thank you for your suggestions, along with. Uh, Akolo, Mola, Pierce, Tofolo and Collins. Fantastic suggestions, all of them. I really like the look of uh, Mola with him being English as well as Pierce and Tofolo, of course. But bringing him back from Stuttgart would be cool. And then Velasco, who uh, Lars in the comments as well called for ages ago and I forgot to look at him. He is AC Milan now, so I'm a bit worried he's going to be pricey. But I'll keep him on there. Game face as well is always great. You do love a game face when we can get one. But that's enough for them. They will be in scoured. Just thought I'd let you know and say thank you for you guys who have suggested transfers. I do take them. I do write them down as well. And I always look at them. Brilliant. Any more, always drop them in the comments. Thanks. Now, we will go to Southampton though. This will be a big one. It's Southampton. We're away. I'm actually thinking I'm going to change the kit because white is just going to be a little bit too close to this with the white stripe. I think I'll change it. We'll go with our, with our away one. As in our alternate one, sorry, quite dark. That should be better. These are the ones. It's huge. Let's get into it. Full strength. We'll go. Let's do it. Oh, of course. Of course. We're at St. Mary's. It's a uh, Premier League. Well, they are a Premier League team in real life. It's their ground and they're doing all right in the real in real life. So I can't believe they got relegated. But if they could too badly here, which they started quite poorly with Harry Cornick winning the ball, I would really appreciate it. Oh, it's a good save. Well, what a fantastic start from us and not a good one from Southampton. Are we going to win that header? We're not. But, Carp, but it's going to fall for Jordan Clark. Back out to Brian. One touch. Go on, whip it over. Get there. Oh, what a, what a start. James Breed bombing down the wing and we are all over Southampton early on. Can we get there with Cornick? We can't. We'll have a corner. Oh, but Femi's going to come through. Can we get there with Bradley? He's put a foot in and again twice, but he's got there three times. Morel, can you turn it around for Cornick? He can. Has Cornick got the pace to get past Salisu? Yes. Can we finish though? Oh no, it wasn't a good one. Wasn't a good one. Brian coming forward into Cornick. I've seen Knight going over Walker Peter's shoulders. Just control it, Knight. Well done. Come inside him. That's good. There's Cornick. One touch on the turn. Oh, saved by Gunn. Bradley now trying to get there. No, Femi's come through. Etheridge with a great save. And, well, there's half time. No goals yet. I wasn't even expecting half time to appear there. Um, weird, weird over all over him for the first 10 minutes and then suddenly they just kept the ball for about 20. I don't know, I don't know how this one's going to go. Clark being put in by Brian. There's Morel on the edge. Oh, it's not a good ball. Final ball's been lacking for me today and I don't think the corners are going to help, although Bradley's won that one. Goal kick though. Armstrong's been played in behind here. Bradley's not got there even though, I mean, he has and now Armstrong's going to finish it. I can't believe that. Bradley wins the tackle. He does. The ball should go through Armstrong's leg, but it doesn't. It comes back out to him and he finishes it off because there's no one in front of him. Brian to Morel. Can he go for Cornick? Can he get around the man Stevens? He can. It's a good shot for Gunn to save. I have not had any luck with the corner so far, but Bradley wins that one. He should score. Should score. Robert Femi now plays a good ball through for Rosniak. Oh, Etheridge, come on. Weak shot at the near post and you're beaten like that. Not happy about that one. Southampton 2-0 up. Obafemi into Shane Long. Can Bradley get there? He can, but it's going to fall straight to Lopez. Back to Long. Obafemi. Lopez is coming through. Good save, Etheridge. Get the ball. Great ball to Obafemi. Carter Vickers comes through the back of him. That's a foul, definitely. Penalty to Southampton. Any chance Etheridge can have some heroics and put us... Oh, he's at the bar. Can we get it out? We can. Not quite. It's still there. I don't know, Southampton. We've got it. And Panzu. Cornick. First time, hit it. Straight at gun. There's only added time left. I don't believe I've got any chance of going forward and getting a goal. Definitely not two anyway. The ref's going to blow it, I imagine. Unless I can get that ball through. There it is. Surely, ref, blow the whistle. Blow the whistle, man. There we go. 2-0 Southampton. I'm not happy with how that's gone. Realistically, after being all over them, we just couldn't put a ball in the net. Couldn't get enough clear-cut chances for the ball to go in. And they capitalised. Kind of. Kind of. This is actually quite a big game now. Preston. The way we've been going recently, we've not had good results, we're slipping down the table, my manager rating is slipping down. We need a win, and if we could get a big one, we could do with it right now, so let's, let's real hope. Hope is what we've got now. Home game against Preston at Kenilworth Road, surely, surely we can do something today. Points at least, we can't lose again, definitely can't lose again. Preston coming forward now, Sean Maguire's going through, Bradley's got there. 
Just about. Don't lose it, Carter Vickers. Jesus. What? Oh, no way has he hit that. I'm absolutely fuming. What has he just done there? I was lit. Oh, my God. We look at this again. It's a good ball through, but I have literally pressed pass. How has he hit that ball? Can we see it from the other angle, please? Look, you can see Carter Vickers press pass. Oh, what is that? Morel's got a bit of room. We're just going to go over the top. I'm just going to have to hope at this stage. I think the keeper's going to come and get that one. Yep, just. Morel into Cornick. Please turn him. Oh, my God. Nothing's working today. Clark goes for Morel. Please hit that Morel. Hit it. What a save. Come on. It's added time as Preston come forward again. Galloway's trying to hold up his man. He's gone backwards. Ref, thank you. I am... This game, this game, this episode has really not gone well at all. One of the worst I've had as Luton so far. I can't believe they've given that as a goal. I can't believe it. I, sh I mean, of course it was a goal that went in, but you know what I mean. Cornish just running. He's just going to have to run him. Because there's actually nothing else he can do. He pulled it back to Clark. Yes. Yes. Oh, come on. Pick up that ball, Jordan Clark. For God's sake, man. Anyway, we'll move on. We'll move on. Let's get back into the game. We need to win today, big time. Cornick plays it to Morel. That's a great pass from Cornick. Go on then, Joe. Hit it. Oh, that's a good block from the defender. We'll put it over, though. Go on, get up, Galloway. Clark again. On the volley. Off the bar. Oh, Knight's going to have to see Galloway. He's come up from left back. Hit it, Galloway. What a finish. Fantastic way to put us in front. The ball was floating. He's picked it up because we're going to go and get ourselves a third. Come on. We kept the ball for ages, by the way. When we were doing that, I just played it across the box until I found the, uh, the pass for the man to score the goal. And it was Brendan Galloway. What a strike with his left foot. Morel, scribble down to Cornick. He's gone well wide there, but Jason Knight's back there. Finish it, Knight. Yes. Come on. 20 minutes to go and it's 3-1 Luton. This is a win now. Surely this is a win. Johnson's turn. Bradley's giving it to Maguire. Carter Vickers hasn't got there, but Etheridge has made a good save. Good ball to Ledson on the edge. Bradley's come forward and won the ball. Cornick with a lovely ball over for Knight. Can he get it across for Morel? One touch. Finish it, Morel. Ah, oh, lovely. Right on the stroke of full time. Cornick rescues a ball that was terrible from Knight. Puts it over. Morel puts it in the goal. The rest means three points. The ref should blow his whistle straight away, and he does. That is a massive three points for me as a manager and for the team as a whole. We needed those points big time. Big time. Thankfully, we got them. Let's move on to the scouts you've been suggesting. So I said we were going to go to the scouts, but we'll do it after the Ipswich sim. It's just going to be the, the match sim. We'll only show they're last in the table. So really, we should get the win. I've got the first team out as well. So I'm really hoping we get a win today. Then we'll go to the scouts. Oh, we're through. Morel surely finishes it off. 12 minutes in. Joe Morel gets the first goal for us. Brilliant start. Oh, Ipswich are in now. Etheridge has made a save gone out for a corner I hope we can get this clear we've been good so far and there it goes not long left in the half at all there's the whistle we've been good Etheridge has done well they've had all the ball apparently but I'm happy with it we've been quite solid so far Ipswich turn to finally come forward they've got a bit of space but in comes Panzu. that's a great ball they're in behind and they've equalized Bishop has done it my voice has gone croaky but it's 1-1 not long left most likely our last chance here now and I don't even see us going forward although Cornick's turned his man oh he's run straight into a center back That'll probably be the end of the game unless Ipswich score now. This is going to be a long bit of a highlight. Surely the ref will blow his whistle any second or not. They're in the box. Please get a ball, lads. Get a ball and get it out. Please, 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 please. I can't. I can't lose. I will, uh, thank you. Thank you, Etheridge, for running that. There we go. A 1-1 draw. Could have done with a win. We'll go to the scouts and then Millwall and hopefully win that game. So I hired a second scout. Andreas Kuzik from Estonia cost me 700 grand ish of my 1.5 million budget, so about half of it really. Um, Gary is going to be the scout here. He's decided Cameroon for physically strong, so that's where we're going. And then Don Pablo September in the comments wanted England, didn't specify anyone, so I've gone any. And there we go, there's two. I will get to everyone else in three months' time when these guys come back, so we'll see what we can get. Yeah, another huge game, Millwall. Need a win, we're at home, hopefully we can do it midweek, but I've had to go as strong as I can. I'm not really in a position to rest anyone at the moment, so let's do it. Come on then, come on then. Nighttime game, surely we can do it. We're speaking normal, they're above us in the table by quite a bit and we need to close the gap on the playoffs if we've got any chance of getting there, so let's do it now. Morel, go on, play Cornick out wide, or wider than the middle of the pitch, shall we say. We'll come inside, get a shot off Harry, get a shot off, oh what a save. 
There's a ball. I can see it. Can Etheridge get there? He can, but we're going to get the rebound. Oh, what a double save from Neil Etheridge. And Panzer looks for Cornick. It's a good ball in behind. We just need players to get in the box. Oh, Cornick still manages to keep the ball. Find him Panzer to find Morel with time and space to finish it off. Yes, lovely bit of move from Luton. Good football. Puts us 1-0 up and I can calm down just a little bit now because I'm very nervous. Morel, Cornick, lovely, lovely, lovely finish. 2-0. This is going to be a great result. A great result as long as we can hold on to it. I'd love to hold on to a clean sheet as well considering we are the worst defensive team in the league at the moment. That's a good ball to Bordvars and there it is. Oh, Etheridge's well done. Get there again. Etheridge has been great today. James Bree coming through and there's Morel. Go on, one more for Cornick. That's great. Right before half time, let's make it three. Yes, Harry Cornick, lovely finish. Lovely finish. But so far, to be fair, my man of the match has been Ever Etheridge. He's been brilliant in goal. Four crucial saves. That shouldn't be long for the ref. There we go. <laughs> there he is again, right on the stroke of half time, literally. We've been really good so far. 3 0 up. Clean sheet kept for a half, which is brilliant. If ever Etheridge keeps up like this, he'll get a player of the episode. Not much to speak of in the second half so far, but that's fine by me. It's still 3 0 us. Knight goes to Bree. Can Bree go back to Knight? He can. That's a lovely touch from Jason Knight. Strike it. Oh, it's gone in as well. Lovely finish from Jason Knight. You'd love to see it. Just after I said there's not much to talk about, we get ourselves a goal and it's 4 0. Lads, you'd never guess what. While we wait for that goal kick, I've actually hit 400 subscribers. Brilliant. I don't think I mentioned it. I don't know if you can see that. You're probably seeing a reflection. But it says it about there. Will it focus? There you go. There you go. You can see it. Thanks very much. I don't know if you've subscribed yet, but if you haven't, go on then. There shouldn't be that. There it is. I was about to say there shouldn't be much time left. But there isn't because there's the whistle. 4-0, 4, 400 subscribers, thank you very much for that, I really appreciate that, I needed that win as well against Millwall, and a clean sheet which is great, all round, a really good game, fantastic. So, for this episode, player of the episode is going to go to someone it wouldn't normally go to, in a position it wouldn't normally go to, and that's Neil Etheridge, and that is purely because we kept a clean sheet against Millwall, and he made two double saves that were crucial to keeping it keeping it there keeping it in four nil well i think it was one nil or maybe two nil at the time either way it's purely based on that game i can't base it on anything in the first two games in in the in the third game against who was it sorry preston galloway had a great performance and if etheridge hadn't made those saves it would have been him but neil etheridge gets player of the episode for today and now looking at the league table it's not looking as bad as it did I will say that 11 games in and we are 9th, I'll take it. At some point during this episode, we were down in 17th where Sunderland are. So I'm really happy we got that win. And look, they are three points behind us. Had we not got that win, we would still be down there. Looking up to Birmingham, three points off the playoffs. It's there for us. We're still early on in the season. Hopefully, we can keep a bit of form going. We've got two wins on the trot now. Get a few more and we'll push towards the playoffs. It's unlikely we're going we're gonna to make it to the top two i don't see it happening it's 10 points away but definitely the playoffs are surely there within reach and i'm really hoping we can get there because i need to get to the premier league come on Lou. but anyway that is going to wrap up today i hope you have enjoyed this episode if you have please do leave a like i do really appreciate you watching and i'm really thankful for 400 subscribers if i i'm speechless with it it's brilliant and i the more we go the more we grow the more it seems like 1k is actually going to be a real possibility and who knows where we could go from there. So please do subscribe. Thank you for watching the video. Thanks for supporting me through this whole thing. And I will see you all in the next one.